Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel and uh, many, many questions about the use of TPM in Windows 11 as a minimum requirement. Um, now, a lot of people are on the impression that if unsupported hardware can run Windows 11, that TPM is useless and uh, their minimum requirement shouldn't be there. Well, it's not exactly that. Um, it's because, first of all, when you install Windows 11 as a default, so you don't use any you know, special security or anything, yes, TPM is not used, and that's why unsupported hardware works fine. But TPM is actually something that can be used. The Trusted Platform Module Chip is a security feature. It's a very good security feature, too. I see a lot of people that talk about it, that trash it, but that don't understand at all what it is. It's actually a very, very good security feature. But the thing is with TPM is that it works when needed in Windows 11. So what happens is that, nope, it's not required, but if you have a pro version of Windows 11 and try to encrypt your drive, for example, what's gonna happen is gonna tell you that you, you have to turn on TPM for that work. It's going to tell you that you're missing security features to use that feature. So that is one thing. There's a lot more that can be done with TPM as a security feature. It's just that it's not exploited much yet. But technically, an example of TPM that could be used is if you go online to your banking site, your banking site could technically say starting next week your computer needs to have uh, a trusted platform module or TPM chip because we're going to use that to identify that it's really you that gets to you know your banking services and that can be done through a browser so yes it can be done but the problem is most don't and the reason most don't there's just too many people that still do not have a TPM chip or a lot of people that have one, they just don't know, but it's turned off. So that's the reason why, um, you know, it seems to be a, a useless feature that's nobody, that's not used at all and that's not required. Uh, in reality, it's not. In reality, what's happening is that not enough um, apps, not enough apps and, and not enough services really use it uh, because you know it adds a complexity to, to the user also. But someday, at some point, if it's not TPM, it'll be something else, but some, at some point, because of the huge number of hacking going on, um, TPM will be probably used more and used on online services and used by apps that want to authenticate on your PC. But until then, yeah, that's the, the impression of the TPM being useless comes from there. It's like nobody's using it really. And so that's why unsupported Windows 11 works. It just because Windows 11 itself is not using it in any of its security features that is absolutely required. So uh, that's where TPM stands. And, uh, you know, in the future, we're going to see at some point, um, could it officially be something that has to be on and has to be working? You know, it's not impossible. It's not impossible that Microsoft could release a Windows version and say, well, uh, you know, TPM is off. You're not installing and you can't bypass. Um, you know, what happens when you install Windows right now is very simple. It's just checking if the minimum requirements are there. It's not enabling anything that requires them. So what Rufus does is simply modify the image so that the check is not done. It will not check for a TPM. And it will not check for several other uh, you know, minimum requirements like a CPU, um, you know, what, what uh, category of CPU you have. So that's the only thing that it does. Uh, where it's more controversial, of course, would be more into the CPU thing. 
Because we know that older CPUs, some older CPUs run as well, if not faster than some old, the newer CPUs that have um, different categories. It's a very complex thing about the CPU. And I would say uh, TPM, I could get it if it would be used, I understand. But uh, in the CPU minimum requirement is a little harder to actually uh, to swallow, basically. But often goes with the fact that the TPM 2.0 um, is also uh, usually shipped with the more modern CPUs automatically. Uh, that's that's the thing. But yeah, it 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 could be used, but yeah, it's unused, so that's why unsupported works fine. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.